DIY engine dyno test number two. You guys had a lot of questions about this. The load cell measures how the axle rotates when you apply the brakes. The axle, there's a pivot there. This whole thing tries to rock just like that. The way this dyno works is we rev the engine all the way up to the max. In the beginning of the video, you can see me bouncing off the rev limiter. And then we apply the brakes and pull the engine down. Now, before you guys say something about how it's abusive to the engine, just know this. I do not give a shit. We're just gonna rev it to the moon and dump the brakes on it. And either the engine takes it or it doesn't. Now, the important thing is whether or not we get good data. Let me talk to you about that. We have a brake pressure sensor so we can monitor how much brake pressure we're applying. Our PM sensor, so when that bolt comes around, it ticks off a pulse and that pulse then gets used for RPM. The reason why I haven't shown you guys any data is because the data keeps coming in corrupted in some way. At the moment, we're stuck on the RPM. It's not a smooth graph, it's very, jagged very steppy we're not sure why that is so we're still troubleshooting that but this test showed a full throttle wide open test and the brake system completely overwhelmed the engine so that's good news it means we have more than enough braking power to do the job which means there's only a couple of steps in the way from us finishing the diy engine dyno Step number one is the data logging has to work we need clean data step number two we need a brake controller and that's it on this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.